Okay, so I want to verify this trig identity. Um, and to do that, I'm going to start with the more complicated side. And uh, to me, that looks like the addition of two terms um, is more complicated than the product of uh, secant and cosecant. So I'll start with the left cotangent of x plus tangent of x. And my reason for that step is that it's given. Okay. Now my goal is to get the sum of two trig functions into a product of uh, secant and cosecant. And I know uh, secant is the reciprocal of cosine, cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So my strategy um, is going to be to get the cotangent and the tangent uh, changed over into sines and cosines and see if that helps me get any closer. So uh, I could do that with a quotient identity. So cotangent is the ratio of the cosine divided by the sine and tangent is the ratio of the sine divided by the cosine. So that I used quotient identity in order to do. Okay, now I've got two fractions here um, that I want to add together because in my, uh, my goal, my end goal here, I have a product, not an addition. So to combine these, I'm going to need a common denominator. And that means I'm going to take my first fraction, cosine divided by sine. I'm going to multiply that by the other denominator, cosine over cosine. So its value hasn't changed, right? Cosine divided by cosine of x is just 1. Um, but it will get me, in the next step, um, a common denominator. Okay, then I'm going to do the same thing to the second fraction. So I have sine of x over cosine of x. I'm going to multiply that by my other denominator, sine of x over sine of x. Okay, and that was finding a least common denominator, LCD. Okay, now we can go ahead and um, combine these to uh, condense that addition into one fraction. Now they have a common denominator. So in my numerator um, of the first fraction, I'll have a cosine squared x. And in the numerator of my second fraction, I'll have a sine squared x. And then that'll all be over my common denominator of sine x cosine x. Okay. And that was addition. All right, so we're getting closer. I'm real happy with that numerator because I recognize that as a Pythagorean identity. I remember that sine squared x plus cosine squared x is 1 um, with that Pythagorean identity. So I can swap that out now, the numerator, and I'll be left with 1 over the sine of x times the cosine of x. And that was using a Pythagorean identity. Okay, and that is excellent news because I know that the reciprocal of sine, 1 over sine, is the cosecant. And the reciprocal of cosine, 1 over cosine, that's the secant. Those are reciprocal identities, and so I'm done. I've shown that cotangent of x plus tangent of x does in fact equal this other side, the cosecant of x and the secant of x, that product, um, together. So that was using reciprocal identities. Okay. And um, now I've shown that what I started with, cotangent of x plus tangent of x, um, does equal secant of x times cosecant of x, and this identity has been verified. Okay, hope that helps, and um, feel free to message me if you have any questions.